nothing more important than the family. I am a native of Vallas. It's a small town about 300 kilometers from here. And when I was a student, I dreamed that one day I could I see open Cordiva a as always is at her best. No doubt. She's the most valuable asset of our architectural bureau. Today we are opening not just a library, but a real family club. I am grateful to the Novgorod city for finding a place for this building and also to the city administration for helping build it. It's Gordiva speaking. Who is lost? Daughter? How old is she? Wait, what's your address? I'm on my way. There you are. Now we'll wait for your mother. That way, please, ma'am. Hi. Hello, mommy. Mm, thank you. It's me, Lisa. Please, will you help me? Mommy, please, will you forgive me for getting lost? Well, you didn't get lost. Your parent didn't take care of you. The child was left alone. Besides, she was put in danger. We will start a case. Article 156. You neglected your child. That's right. Yes, I am guilty. Honey, don't ever run away again, please. And don't be the first to jump on the bus either. Okay, Mommy, but it's you who always taught me that old lady should enter first, and it's you who helped the old lady to get into the bus. Yes, that is right, but the doors shut down and the bus left, and I got scared to death and ran to another stop. And I went in the opposite direction to look for you, so I got lost. That's true. I will never, ever leave you again. We need to hold hands very tightly, just like this, even at home, okay? Yes, of course. Well, hold on. Now, Mr. Policeman will tell us what we need to do next. We probably need to fill out some paperwork, and he will open a case against us. Okay. You can go now. Let's say that you got off lightly. You only receive a verbal warning. Thank you. You saved me, Aunt Sonia. Where is your mother? She left. Did she leave you alone? She'll come back soon. How long ago did Olya leave? A couple days. Three and a half. Did you come here to find her? Mm-hmm. Alone? It's so easy. First I got into the train, and then I took a ride by the tramway. And then I got lost. I got upset and I cried, and then the policeman came up to me. I gave them your number. The number you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. What about your dad? Does he know that you came alone? Dad is angry with mom because they're getting divorced. Dad said that he wants to take away mom's parental rights. That's why you can't say anything to him at all. He'll take me to his place, and then there is that stupid Galka. Who's Galka? It's his new wife, and I don't want to live with him. I see. Let's go. Let's buy some ice cream. 
Does your mother allow you to eat ice cream? Mom allows me everything. I'm not surprised. Do you think that mommy is irresponsible? Everyone judges her. Lisa. No, I think your mom is the best mom in the world. Lisa, dear, don't cry. I miss my mom so much. Something must have happened to her. She will come back soon and explain everything to us. But what if something bad happened to her? We will definitely find her. Everything will be fine. Don't cry, hun. Let me close it. Let's go. Didn't you tell your grandmother mom left? Grandma's old. Mom does not let me disturb her. And don't tell Jean and Nikitchna anything either. Oh, wow. And what did we do to deserve the arrival of such a big celebrity? Nice to see you too. Did you just decide to make peace with your sister? Did Olga hand over care of the child just like that? We came to Grandma Lena and Anjana. Thank you, by the way, for looking after her and letting her come and live here with you. She holds the defense line in the overgrowth of weeds, but I don't give up. I baked a cherry pie earlier. If she lets me, I'll feed her. Will you go to Anjana for some pie? Follow me. You can eat one piece first, then you can take some to your grandmother. Come on. Not now, Janna. Oh, it's my dear Sophia. Grandma. <laughs> Was there some kind of holiday, but I forgot? Here it is, Alzheimer's disease, making me worry again. No, Grandma, there's no holiday. Are you okay? What then? What has happened? You only come to us on major holidays and only for a couple of hours. Give me some gifts and some money and then disappear again. Grandma, you understand the situation perfectly. I don't understand and I don't want to understand. I love both of you and I can't take anyone's side. I can't give up my one little girl for another. By the way, don't you know where this other one is? How long has she been gone? Four days. Oh, this is a new record. She's done this before, but she has never left Lisa alone for more than a day before. And she called me every minute. Mm -hmm. And now her phone is turned off. She dreamed of going to Novgorod for a vocal competition. She prepared a lot and then she changed her mind. The management at the restaurant didn't seem to let her go from work. What if she decided to go on impulse? She's a passionate person. Mm -hmm. She takes off to her mother's temperament. It's so easy to leave your daughter. Grandma, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm too old to be looking after Lisa. But believe me, your help won't be needed for long. Switched off. Where's your mother? Why is she unavailable? Everywhere in Viaz has excellent coverage. The phone must have died. Mm hmm But I haven't been able to get through to her since yesterday. And we have a parent meeting coming up. Tell me, please. What did you have for lunch today? Pizza again? We ate soup. Bush. Come on. Did you really eat at home? Mm-hmm. At what time? At two. At two. Liar. At two, I saw your mother in the store. Which store? No, none. I was just checking. 
You have no idea where your mother is now? Mm -hmm. Who are you calling? Your father has to know where you are. And for his ex, she's who knows where. Jana, there's no need to call him. Jana. Please, please. Acham, good evening. It's Jana. Lisa, how are you? Dad, don't worry. Mom will be back home soon. Hello there, Sophia. Can I come in? You haven't changed at all. I changed, actually. You don't even know how much. How long has it been? Eight years? Yes, but that was in a past life. Back then, when we were young lovers. We were fools. Well, in the end, it was only me who was a fool. You were perfect. And I made a mistake. Oh, please. You slept with my sister two days before our wedding. And then she got pregnant. Nobody's perfect. You came to see Lisa? So then go see her. I'll take you with the car. But why? Why can't I live with Aunt Sophia? Just until Mom comes back. You can. You can do anything, as long as you smile. Hooray! Super! Oh, wow! <laughs> when Mom returns, we will sit down together and have a serious conversation. We got a deal? Mm-hmm. That's good. The princess had slept in her tower for many, many years. One day, a small bird flew through a slightly open window. The bird was very smart. She guessed how unhappy the princess was. She flew to the prince and chirped under his window day and night until he followed her. When the prince saw the princess, he realized he had loved her all his life. The prince kissed his beloved and she woke up. And they lived a long life, and they had many children. And they became the happiest family in the world. That's all I found in the fridge, and there wasn't much there. You're probably hungry. No, thank you. I don't feel like eating right now. Where are you going? To the restaurant. Okay, have a nice meal. I'll wait for you.
Ma'am, are you okay? No. It's not okay. Everything is not okay at all. Forgive me, please. It's very important for me to know where your main singer, Olga Gordiva, went. She quit about three months ago. How? A scandal. She said that she deserved better, broke the dishes, and wished the restaurants had burned to the ground. Do you perhaps know if maybe she had some problems in her personal life, or...? Will you order something? If not, please free up the table. Please, ma'am. Did you know that Olya quit her job? <sighs> She's also unemployed now? Why did she lie about going to work every day? What on earth has been happening to her lately? Uh, I have no idea. She and I have been in a cold war since the divorce. Something bad has happened. I feel something happened. I always feel it. She and I were born seven minutes apart. But I am still older. I have to look after her. I'll go to the police. Oh, yeah? And then she'll return and the authorities will immediately come to us to take away her maternal rights. Isn't that good for you? Lisa won't forgive me. She will think that I arranged it. And I can peacefully blackmail Olya so that Lisa... Lisa can live with me, not Olya. And your wife won't mind? It's Golka's idea. She's a good woman. Understood. You don't understand anything. Sonia, come let's talk. Please? I'm going to bed. I'm tired. Lisa, you are amazing. I know your mom is very proud of you, and I admire you. Go on. She has so much expression. Don't you think that it was Olya who made the girl a nervous wreck with her excessive nervousness? Are you interested as her great aunt? Oh, as the principal. As a principal, I wouldn't even talk to you. But as your wiser elder relative, I invite you to visit today. We have a ladies' tea party. The best ladies in town will come. Oh, I'm afraid I'm not ladylike enough for such an event. But it doesn't matter. Perhaps my ladies know where your Olga is right now. Can you try not to spread gossip about us? You know what, my dear? It's a complete mystery what your sister's doing right now. Her antics could cast a shadow on my family's reputation and my husband's career. I'm sure the mayor is safe. 
If you don't come today, I will do it myself. And I'll probably find out something unpleasant. And believe me, I won't keep quiet about it. It starts at six. Don't be late. So do you have a photo of her? Yes. Hmm, that'll do. Today we will send requests to the train stations and the airports. We will follow her trail on the city cameras, but it's not fast. Thank you. I hope you find her quickly. Pull the thing, please. Tell me, is it possible to start an unofficial investigation for now without opening a case? Are you serious? This is not a detective series. I'm a junior investigator, not a private detective. So either we formalize everything to the law or don't waste my time anymore. Have a nice day. Fifi, is that you? They only called me that at school. Well, recognize me? And now? Good Riash. Gleb. Major Kudravstev, if you don't mind. You're completely different. Well, I no longer shy away from everyone like before. No, man, that's not what I meant. You just became... Mature. Tell me, what are you doing here? Do you remember my sister Olya? She's missing. I was hoping they would help me here, but it turns out that I have to write an official statement, but I can't. I'm afraid that Olya will have problems. Let's go. Let's go, come on. Olga Gordiva didn't buy train tickets. Well, you can get to Novgorod by commuter rail. That's why I requested the recent camera footage at the station and alerted the Novgorod department to check all the hotels. Yes, and asked the banks to send all card transactions. Mm -hmm. Gleb, thank you. Sophia, I wanted to apologize for not listening to you. I didn't know you had such powerful protection. Was she the most beautiful girl in the school? Thank you. Yeah. And all the guys fought over her? Did you fight? Me fight? I didn't even talk to anyone. I'm from an orphanage, so I don't know how to behave with people. I play deaf and dumb all the time. It's good that I got you talkative already, partner. It must be nice when you fall in love so hard. Seeing this person next to you Wondering how you'll look at you today. I come from a military family. We moved all the time and I changed school 10 times. So let alone falling in love, I didn't even have time to remember my classmates. It's a pity this passed me by. But the first feeling is one that is never forgotten. Admit it, did you feel something today? You know, a cop has no heart. Only a cold mind and strong fists. Well, that means I'm not a real cop yet. Since I'm able to feel something. 
Looking for this? That's it. Thanks. Hmm. We were just waiting for you. I wanted to say that professionals are now looking for my sister. So your help is no longer needed. That's great. But when she returns, help will be needed. Because she will have to change. And it's not easy. It's better to do this with caring people. Help yourself. What do you mean? You've been gone for a long time. There's a lot you don't know. Olga's been drinking lately, having affairs. To be honest, at the time, there was a fear for every man in the city. Predictably, her husband couldn't stand her cheating. They say she left the restaurant every day with a new passion. No wonder. Dressed like that. Like a cheap prostitute. Girls, let's be kinder, softer, more gentle. It's not Alia's fault. It's most likely hereditary. Still, it's not so easy to fight your genes. None of you have any right to judge my sister or my mother. Have a nice day. I'm saying it's hereditary. Well, finally, the wait's over. Hey, hey, how are you? How's your day? Okay. Are you hungry? A paradise, just like on TV. Well, this paradise, you see, is not here very often. Maxim is usually working all the time, and he only returns after midnight. Jeanne seems to be happy with everything. Yes, but only with her husband. <sighs> not with everyone else. She fights with everyone. She constantly reprimands me. Olya doesn't make her happy. She also scolded my Masha all her life. Not for no reason, though. Maxim, at first, wanted to marry Masha. But she refused, so then he went over to Jana. Olya looks so much like our mother. Mm -hmm. Maybe Jana still sees her as a rival. How can she see her as a rival? They've been married for more than 30 years. Grandma, what if Mom ran away because of Jana's bullying? If so, why didn't she take us with her then? Well, um, it, it was hard for my Masha. You grew up without a father. Jana was moaning all the time that her cousin's sister was spoiled by someone unknown. And now, a chance to start again with a good husband. She could have given birth to more children for him. She wrote that she had a new family, which means that love overshadowed everything. See? Not really. Somehow my mother never mentioned this love before. She wrote letters and promised to come back. And then one day, sorry, goodbye. How is this possible? You had almost grown up then, and Masha knew that I would always take care of you. I did try my very best, Sophia. I know, Grandma. Well, haven't you ever wanted to find my mother? She's your only daughter, after all. But do you really think that I didn't try? I did. Well, of course I was looking for Masha. But she apparently left for the other side of the country. She changed her last name. She really wanted to start everything with a clean slate. No, she just doesn't want us to find her. And I, I respect her wishes, even if I don't agree with it. Maybe Olya ran away too, like Mom. Don't talk nonsense. Lisa, slow down. I want to go to bed so that tomorrow can come by faster. 
Hmm. How do you want to celebrate your birthday? Mom will organize it. She promised me a party in the palace. I'll be the princess and she will be the queen. We'll wear gold dresses and crowns. And sparkles will be everywhere in the garden. And in the evening, we'll light candles and eat cake. <laughs> How great. Lisa, what if mom isn't able to come tomorrow? Of course she can. She wouldn't lie to me. Thank you. Good night, Aunt Sophia. Where are you, Olya? Sis, I missed you so much. I'm in Novgorod. Let's meet. With Lisa. Don't forget to wish her a happy birthday tomorrow. Give her a hug and bake a cake. I'll come in the evening if they don't send her to Moscow. Can you imagine? I passed the first round of the Brilliant and Simple competition. Come home immediately. I'm sorry, I need to go now. The number you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. She needs to go. She's really done it now. Hi, Gleb. I'm very embarrassed, but it looks like Olya's been found. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Let me help you. I'm already finished. Did you do it all yourself? Very beautiful. Sonia, I came to ask. Olga mentioned the brilliant and simple competition. Mm, of course, what's wrong with it? I called the organizers both in Novgorod and Moscow. Olga Gordiva is not on the list. Maybe it's a pseudonym. They check passport details of all participants. Are they saying that Olga lied and she won't come to the birthday party tomorrow? I really do hope I am wrong. I see how worried you are about her. I remember back in school. You were very close to each other. Yes, you know. While I lived alone all these years, I always imagined Olya was nearby. I thought about what she would advise in this or that situation. <sighs> Honestly, today I just want to see Olya more than anything else. I know. Hi, everyone. Hi. Meet Galia, my beautiful wife. Nice to meet you. Sonia, my, uh... Aunt of the birthday girl. <laughs> hmm, let's go have lunch. I don't like this whole story with Olga Gordiva. Something is wrong here. We need to put her on the federal wanted list. Hmm. You always leave me hungry. Okay. I am doing all points bulletin, and you're on the phone. Ready and... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lisa. There, there! Mommy! Hi, Lisa. Happy birthday to you. Here's flowers for you from my garden. Here you go. 
I wish you perseverance and patience that someday you'll be able to grow as beautiful as these flowers. Here's your gift, my dear. This is an encyclopedia. There are answers to all questions. You can ask the book any question. What do you want to ask? When will my mom come back? What a beauty. Wait, wait. Where is Lisa? Where are you hiding, baby? Lisa! Hello. What are you doing under here? Come on. Why are you hiding? Look at the cake we bought you. Come, let's eat it. I don't want to eat it without my mommy. We have to wait. Look what did the courier bring us. It's probably from your mom. Wow, Lisa, look how cool the tablet is. Did you dream about it? Do you like it? I don't need it. I don't need anything. Leave me alone. Everything repeats itself. Olya ran away like our mother, and now she will only send gifts. It was I who bought the tablet. I decided to play it safe, in case Olya doesn't come. I read on the internet that all children want a tablet. Wasn't it written there that they needed a mother? You know, I always pretended that I was happy with mother's gifts. I saw how upset it made you. Olya didn't even want to open them. I was sorry for you. I thought it wasn't your fault. Mom abandoned you just like us. Do you remember? Mom only sent expensive things. Only her letters were precious to me. And these gifts. Yes, Olya always left when we read the letters from Masha. She didn't want to listen. She's a categorical person. Was it really so difficult for her to call Lisa today? I said open it. Lisa, should I break it down? Archim, Archim, calm down. Why are you making a fuss? My patience has run out. Your granddaughter made a serious mistake. I won't forgive her for not showing up to Lisa's birthday party. I'm taking my daughter. Period. Archim, calm down. Lisa is already having a hard day. She's very stressed. You are now going to cause her another trauma. Sophia. All right, okay, if you think so. Uh. Oh, sorry. Is it Olya? No, my boss. Hello. I took the day off. No more? Y yes, I understand. I don't want to let you down. New project. I'm urgently called to work. So, you're going to Novgorod. I'm taking Lisa. <laughs> this is a nightmare. I can't leave Lisa and I can't lose my job either. Let's do this. I'll live with you temporarily so that Lisa comes to her senses in a safe space. We will become one team and then we will move together later. The only sensible thought for the whole day. What a great idea. I admire you. Listen, you were so good at pretending to be a naive sheep. Where will you put him, I wonder? In your bedroom, or will you torture him first? Jana, just cut it out. 
Maybe you can finally take care of your husband. You won't actually believe this, but everything is fine with us. We really have absolutely nothing to do. We have achieved complete harmony. My dear. Sorry for waking you up. I couldn't sleep. Uh, it's our song. You remember? Yes, I remember. It was playing at the station on the day I arrived on vacation. You ran into me and almost crushed my leg. Instead of apologizing, you took me home. <laughs> yeah, our first meeting. Couldn't have been more romantic. And I'm still trying to imagine how everything would have turned out if I hadn't let you down. Well, then Lisa wouldn't exist. She's wonderful. You are very lucky to have her. When I look at you, I madly want to be at that station again. Knock you down again. Replay everything. But tomorrow I will leave. And life will return to its previous course. I don't want that. I suck at this course, you know. Everything I want is just to look at you every day, you know? Sophia, I'm not an idiot. I see your suffering. You think about it all the time. Even if that's true, it won't change anything. Sorry. It won't work that way. I will work all day long. But I will definitely come and see you next weekend. Hmm? Hello? Has Olya been found? What do you mean, dead?
mushroom gatherers found the body by accident under an abandoned bridge. There are signs of suicide and multiple injuries. Are you ready? you will. But you still have a lot of things to do here. You still have a long life. And your mom would look down and be proud. I believe she's watching you right now. And dad? Will he die too? No, what are you talking about? Your dad just got really sick. But he'll be discharged from the hospital and recover soon. He will always be with you. And you? Will you always be with me too? I will never leave you. You okay? I think about it every day. I'm losing my mind. Olya couldn't do it. You didn't know her. She loved life. She would never have given up. She would never have abandoned Lisa. She Sophia, calm down. Have a seat. I have already reclassified the case. I believe someone staged a suicide, but we have no evidence. You're right, but there is some indirect evidence. Alia's telephone is missing, and the messages you received were sent a few days after her death. We determined the date of her death, and whoever sent those messages wanted you to think that Alia left. Now, a phone is turned off, but as soon as it is turned on, we will locate it immediately. The killer didn't expect that the body would be found. And then they began to cover up their tracks. But who could do something like this? What kind of monster? Typically, such crimes are committed for personal reasons. Your sister was a striking young woman. No, Olya didn't date anyone after the divorce. Maybe she didn't want her family to know about it. Or she was afraid or embarrassed of her lover. We need to talk to her colleagues. I was recently in her restaurant trying to find out something, and it seemed to me... Maybe I'm getting all worked up, but the waiter seemed to be strange, like he was keeping something from me. Let's go. I'll take the report documents. No, stay here. No need to scare them by going there all at once. You better look at the surveillance footage again. Hurry up. Olia always loved to sing. She wasn't looking for praise or fame. She really liked to sing when she was alone. Is that him? Yes, that's him. Hi there. Can I get you a menu? Just after you. What the hell are you doing, damn it? How can you beat a person for this? I just paid for the orders by card and took the cash for myself. You what? You know, we have a 10% discount if you pay by card. This is how the excess accumulates. <coughs> Actually, I want to talk about Olga Gordiva. She didn't take part in any of this. Can't you leave a dead woman in peace? You're the sister? Did she complain about me? Listen, I never touched her. Just try to win her over. Did you harass her? I wanted her, obviously. I'm not the only one. Every man pestered her. The manager even said if she didn't sleep with him, she'd be fired. And then? She quit. 
I'd do anything for her to still be alive. Even if she was still with the Jeep guy. What Jeep guy? The, the guy that came to pick her up once a week. He didn't get out of the car, so... He tried to hide. It was expensive, with tinted glass. These days, Ollie was completely lost, and it looked like she didn't want to be there. Do you remember the plates? No. They were always dirty, usually the case with criminals. Grandma, I bought you some new books. Uh, I really can't read any books at the moment. I can't even focus on letters. Grandma, listen here. Did you ever see a black jeep come and drop Olya off recently? Maybe someone gave her a ride? Yes, I knew. I knew this would not end well. What? I've suspected for a while now. It started happening when Olya was still married. Artem would sometimes let her come to me, and then she lied to him and said that she would stay with me until the morning. She would then leave for the whole night, and at dawn she returned and cried. I really tried to talk to her, but she insisted that everything was always fine. Look, it is my fault that I didn't ask her about it. She probably had a strong feeling. Do you think it killed her? I think a man killed her, Grandma. A very bad man. Sonia, I need to tell you something. <sighs> At first I was going to help. You know, hire a nurse maybe, arrange accommodations, in a clinic or something like that. And then I realized that the matter was sensitive because of your relationship. I don't understand what you mean. But I understand Galka as well. When she found out that Archim had been discharged from the hospital, she packed her belongings and left that same day. She's a beautiful young woman. Why should she suffer with a disabled man? Fortunately, they didn't get married. Hmm? Are you telling me that Archim was left alone? <laughs> oh, just don't pretend that you don't know it, okay? Achim? Achim? I won't let you give up. Here, drink some water. Come on. Come on, wash your face. And pack your things, we're moving out of here. Be careful. I bring nothing but problems. And now I've taken over your room. You will be most comfortable in here. In the meantime, I'll take the living room.
when we just got married, we lived in this room. I'm still trying to remember how it was. What were we happy about? Why were we fighting? And there's nothing, there's nothing in my head. How quickly everything's erased from memory. As if Olya didn't exist at all. Lisa, hi. How are things at school? I'm scared. What if I forget my mom too? Her face, how she hugged me, how she laughed. Don't be, my dear. When you love someone very much, over the years, the memories of that person only become brighter. And your dad, he feels very bad now. He sees everything in dark colors. Let's help him get better together, okay? Do you think her killer planted this phone? Is it possible? It's too early to say. But for now, it's our main evidence. Maybe it's a threat to confuse us, or more likely, anonymous message. Message about what? Don't worry, Clip will figure it out. Always alone or with her daughter. Her ex-husband isn't even in the photos. Well, they had a fight. Maybe she erased everything afterwards. Apparently she erased all the men at once. Look, here are the contexts. Sister, grandmother, and who is this bastard? Artyom? No, this doesn't seem to be his number. Mm-hmm. Clip, I'm with Sofia Gordieva. Can you track down one number while you're driving? I'll send it to you now. Well... I won't let you go against me. You will pay for your arrogance, you cowardly bitch. Well, she didn't answer to this. A month later again... A bitch like you doesn't deserve to be treated well. You've always been a bitch, and you'll die like a bitch. That's it. Enough. How dare he talk to my sister like that? With a woman! Look. Look here. I tracked down the number. The contact bastard is registered to a law-abiding old man. He died eight years ago. Such numbers are usually sold on the black market. Usually bought by bandits. Or cheaters. To hide their mistress from their wives. My sister would not become the mistress of some bastard. Sorry. I'm sorry, I have to cook dinner. Sophia, if you need any help... No, thank you. I don't need anything. Can I help you with money? Gleb, thank you so much. We don't need anything. Archem, don't sleep through dinner. Here is your medicine. You need to take it. I don't want to. I don't want anything. Uh. 
I'm sick of your pity. Life gave me a chance. But I blew it. I had love. I could have had a family. Something to live for. And now I'm not living. I'm surviving. Galia. Oh. Hi. Galia, I was actually looking for you. I wanted to talk in person, not over the phone. I hope it's not about our mutual friend. About him. Galia, it's very difficult for Achim right now. He's having a hard time with your breakup and misses you. Maybe you could visit him? I understand that you don't want to be a nurse for a helpless man. That's not the reason. Healthy, sick, everything... Everything can be overcome. Except for betrayal. It was like a joke. You know, I was getting ready to meet him from the hospital. I baked a lot of things, started to clean, and then... For no reason, you know, just to stay busy. I found a thong behind the sofa. Well, maybe it... No, 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 no. It was not there a month ago. It had never happened before. But here, we found some panties. <laughs> Lace ones. Red. With butterflies. Of course, I am not such a naughty girl to wear anything with butterflies. But this does not mean that I could be cheated on, right? In my own health. <laughs> Galia. <yeah. laughs> Tell me the truth, did you cheat? On who? Your bride. What? Not me, Galia. Do you think I'm a complete idiot? Do you think I can fall into the same trap twice? I took enormous care of Galka. I never looked at a single girl on the street so that she wouldn't be offended. Well, she's the one who told me. She told me a lot of things too. I wouldn't be surprised if she planted those panties herself. She didn't love me, she just wanted to get married. I always understood this, but I thought it was fair. I didn't love her either. I just thought she'd fit. Sophia, I'm, I only once, once in my life, Badly. You... Wait. What is wrong, Archim? Is it your heart? Sit down. Uh, I'll call the ambulance. Uh, no, I don't need to go to the hospital. Call the cardiologist. His number... His number is on the prescription on the fridge. Okay, okay. The second heart attack almost happened. I'd recommend the hospital. Stop it, Danilia Alexevich. There's no way I'm going back to hospital. I'm fine. I can walk already. And soon I'll run, okay? Well, do you understand that at your age, more than half of patients with such a diagnosis do not fully recover? In 27% of cases, a repeated attack is lethal, but of course it's up to you. I'm not gonna forcefully treat anyone. Doctor, just tell us what needs to be done. We will try. We will do whatever it is that is necessary. Okay. I will adjust the medication program. You need diet number 10 and cardio exercises.
Please, uh, stay with me. Just lie next to me for a little while. I don't remember how I fell asleep. I wasn't even sleeping. I was admiring you. I forgot how you snore when you sleep. Like a little hedgehog. Ah, Shem. I'm very tired. I can't handle it. We need to do something like hiring a nurse. Only... I'm embarrassed to talk about this, but I took a vacation on my own expense. Funeral, grandma... We are almost out of money. Let's split it in half. Sophia, we don't have to. It's me who needs a nurse. Not you, but I have some problems with my business right now. My company is building a residential complex. Commissioned by the city, and there is terrible overspending. We didn't meet the budget. We have debts to suppliers, and we'll be fine if we don't build. I did my best before the hospital, but now I feel like I've lost control. And I have no money. And the construction is going to hell. But so is my life. Show me the specifications of your project. What for? Well, I'm a professional architect. I'll think about how to simplify the project and reduce your overspending. Cheaper doesn't always mean worse. The facade mosaic can be replaced with liquid stone. Composite material can be attached to any surface. Uh, tell me, have you already mounted these walls over here? I think we haven't. At a glance, we can extend this window, remove the difference in height, and get a cube. Uh... We only... have... stucco mouldings. No, no, no decor. Only clarity of lines and play of the light. More iconic the form, more expensive the appearance, and the structural elements are several times cheaper. My angel. What's this? Why don't we try using a usable roof? Meaning, you are able to walk on the roof. And you can plant flowers and put up a swing? Mm-hmm. I think a barbecue area would be better. Oh, I completely forgot about dinner. You're probably hungry. Don't worry, Sophie, I ordered pizza. The best one is with seafood. Oh? The food. Let him in. Wait, take the money. Uh, look how much change there is on the chest of drawers. I paid for it online. So, let's finish the work and have ourselves a sofa party. Hooray! Party! Uh-uh. I'm not a little baby. I've already seen. You can look, of course, but not in our house.
care. Look here. Uh, wait. Uh. Do you like it? Huh. This is amazing. I knew you were talented, but I didn't know you were that talented. Sophia, I love you stronger than ever before. My mom, my mom sees this. Lisa! Lisa, my dear, forgive me for hurting you earlier. The only thing I can say in my defense is that your mom and dad are divorced, and your mom probably already stopped loving Archim a while ago. So she probably wouldn't be upset. Of course she wouldn't be upset, but angry. And I'm angry. Are you angry? Why? Mom always said that there is no woman that dad would be a good husband to. And she said that you are the best in the world. Dad would be able to take care of you, and you deserve a real prince. Baby, princes don't exist in the adult world. Of course they do exist, silly. Coffee or cocoa? Choose. And croissants. I didn't know what you liked, so I took everything they had. So I got some with blueberries, cherries, and almonds. <laughs> are they regular ones? Yes, I got two. Here they are on top. Because I also love without fillings. Did you call me here to feed me breakfast? So that you don't cross the whole city to the department. You know, I checked all Olya's accounts, and this is what I noticed. At the beginning of each month, for eight years, Olga brought the same amount of cash to the bank. Two days before her death, she withdrew every last penny. That's a lot of money. Where did she get it? And where is it now? Sophia, I have one question for you. I bought a plot of land, up country, 30 kilometers away from Viaz. I want to build a house. You need a project. Can you help? Of course. I understand that you're busy now. I'm in no hurry. And so that you don't change your mind, here's an advance. Whoa, Gleb. This is not an advance. This is a salary with a bonus. Gleb. No. Sorry. Hello? What? When did it happen? Lisa's in hospital. Don't be angry, it's my own fault. I know that nothing can be solved with fighting. You got into a fight? At school? Does it hurt? No, not at all. The girls were talking about my mom, that she had cockroaches in her head, and then they'll crawl into mine. I got so angry, I pushed Svetka, and she pushed me back, and so I fell down the stairs. Are you angry with me? I am very angry at those girls that they offended you, and your mother. And I was also very scared. I'm glad everything's okay. A bruise and three abrasions. We will give you a tetanus shot, and then you're free to go. In the meantime, can you fill out the permit at the nurse's station?
What's wrong? Well, it says here that Lisa's blood type is B. So what? Well, Olia's type O. She's the same as me. And Archim, too. Couples with type O only have children with the same, right? Do you think Archim is not Lisa's father? Well, Sophia, can you bring me Lisa's comb or her toothbrush? I'll ask the guys to do a DNA test. We should probably go up and say hello. Daniela Alexievich, how are you? Hi. Uh, everything's fine with us. Mm. We're following your instructions. Well, I'm happy for you. <laughs> What a stupid situation I'm in. I made a bet with my colleague. This is punishment. If anything happens, call me. My patients are waiting. I've got to go. Have a nice day. Bye. Hmm. I hope he heals people better than he cleans floors. Let's go. doing an undercover operation? You forgot about the party? We're being commended for heroically saving the city from crime. Let's be normal people and not robocops for at least one day. Did you notice? I put on the costume of a normal woman. Are you going to dress up? As a guy at least sometimes wears a shirt. Nina, go without me. You'll amaze everyone there on behalf of the department. I have so many things to do, and they're all urgent. Sorry. Right. Well. Allow me? Mm hmm. See you tomorrow. Grandma, I bought you a cake. It's red velvet, your favorite one. Oh, are you completely crazy? Today is not a holiday, silly. Why don't we have a special evening tonight? And tomorrow. And every day. Let's appreciate life and take care of each other. Did you think about Olya? That we won't be able to take care of her anymore? Well... Me too. I wanted to go to the cemetery today, and I couldn't. Did you feel unwell? No, it was, it was my umbrella. I forgot, and then I came back. But there wasn't even any rain today anyway, my dear. I realized that I was looking for excuses not to go. I can't go there, and that's it. Yes. I also keep running every day and smile, pretending that life is going on as usual. But my heart seemed to freeze. It hasn't thawed since the funeral. That's how it was when mom left. And now Olya. 
This pain will never go away. There will be no more life. Sophia, my dear, life will have a lot of surprises in store for you, believe me. We will survive our grief together, my dear. Gosh, do you want me to come to you tomorrow? We'll sort out all these things. We can take them to church. Yes, I know she would love it. She's coming. Are you ready? Hi, everyone. And what is this? We would like to invite you to the grand opening of the new building's complex. So far, only a toy, but it's still very beautiful. Ready? Take it away. <gasps> oh, wow. It is beautiful. It's an amazing city. It's you who came up with it. But it's you who brought it to life. You are so talented, my little girl. And I cooked. I cooked pelmeni. <laughs> Dig in. I know it's early. I just thought you might want to know the test results as soon as they were ready. What are they? I haven't looked. I decided that I had no right to do it. Jim's not her father. I'm sorry. But how can that be? He and Olya only got married because she was pregnant. Archim loves Lisa so much. I can't tell him. It will kill him. The father is not the one who conceives, but the one who parents. And Lisa, poor little girl, she has just lost her mother. And now she doesn't even have her father but she probably needs to know the truth. What would you do, Glenn? Me? I would tell the truth, no matter how hard it may be. Where'd you go so early? Oh, I um, went for a walk in the garden. Uh, I tried to walk on my own. Look here. Uh, uh, just wait. I'm uh, already doing very well on my own. Okay. Here I go. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. be careful. Oh. Take a seat. Uh, just well, take it easy. It was close. I need to tell you something, and it's very important. <laughs> oh, Grandma. Hi, honey. I bet you haven't had breakfast yet, huh? How about my specialty pancakes? <laughs> oh, thank you, Grandma. Come in. Oh, what gorgeous dresses. She had great style. Sophia, you also have excellent style, but somewhat different. Grandma, I always worry about people's opinions. What everyone will think, what they'll say. This is stupid. Granny, what should we do with the underwear? We can't take it to church. 
How can I throw away such beauty? Some of them are missing. Red ones. I remember we bought them together. You lied to me. You cheated on Gelia. And you cheated on her with Olia, the same woman you cheated on me with. Okay, serious talk, you said. Well, I'm a fool, of course, for not telling you right away. I was afraid you'd be upset. Mm, yeah, I was upset. I was very upset. You will never change. Oh, Lord, you can't even call it cheating. Yes, I couldn't resist my ex. What? The night when Olya disappeared, she came to see me. And without warning, Galia was away visiting her parents. I don't know what came over her. Either she was drunk or she had completely lost her mind. She rushed me from the doorway. Talking about love, she wanted everything back. She pushed me on the sofa and leaned on top of me. That's enough. I beg you, shut up. Sonia, I have never seen her so passionate. After sex, she left without saying a word. Stop Sonia. it, thank you. I won't listen Sonia. to this. Sonia! Morning, Wes. Hi, Nina. Wait. Stop. Who is this? Oh, this is a nurse from the local hospital. He's been stealing drugs for sale. He's already served time. And as soon as he got out, he immediately settled into a warm place closer to the drugs. I see. You know what? Nina, bring him to us. I also have a couple of questions for our enterprising friend. Turn around. Oh, damn it. Oi. Archim, are you trying to go for a run or something? Yeah. I wanted to demonstrate that I can still do something. Let's sit down. I just don't have the strength to sit at home and know that you are very close and feel bad. I'm not an idiot. I know you cried all night. I know I've let you down again. I let myself down too. Sonia, I have problems. I need help, please. I'm doing my best, Archim. I can't go to the construction site every day now. I can't control my own business. I need a reliable CEO. A person I can really trust. Capable of pulling my company out of trouble. What do you mean? Are you offering me a job proposal? It's not a proposal. It's just pure blackmail. I won't survive if you refuse me. What are you doing? What are you doing, Archim? Well, I'm... Yes, yes, I agree to be your CEO. I'm making another proposal. Everyone should have a second chance. To rise after falling. To play on one team. The same team. At work, at home. To love and also to feel loved. And I beg you to give me this chance. To both of us. I swear that I will never disappoint you again. I will die, but I will make you happy. I really don't want you to die. And being my wife? Yes? 
Well, this right here is Archim. Archim Nikonov. Well, Nikonov, he immediately realized who he could hang out with in the hospital. And he offered me a hack job to play a doctor. Why didn't the real doctor suit him? Well, he came to hospital with just a neurology attack. He was prescribed vitamins and sent home. Thing is, he told this woman a story about a heart attack. Try to make them make them feel sorry for him. He gave me a crap load of money so I could tell her how to properly care for him. And well, she fell for it without question. So what? Will a sincere confession about this idiot get me off my drug sentence? So Nikonov is absolutely healthy? Damn it, absolutely. Just tell me that you want to change everything. Start over. Is that even possible? Just say the magic word. Yes. Sonya's not home. When? I have no idea. But if you want to tell her something, go ahead and I'll tell her. I know that you have not had any heart attacks. That you lied to Sonya. So I'll wait for her. Because she has the right to know the truth. <laughs> ah, what a relief. I'm so sick and tired of limping around all day. Sometimes I just want to stretch my legs, but I can't do that. Listen. I have nothing to discuss with you. Well, you want Sonya to be fine, don't you? Huh? You want that. You can't even imagine how unhappy she's been all these years. How she suffered because of me. Understand? I wanted to fix all that, but she's too proud. She wouldn't even let me close to her. And what could I do? You be the judge. It's the only way that I could be close to her. Her meaning of life, after all, is caring for loved ones. And for me, she is my life. From man to man, can you understand? All this philosophy is not my concern. Okay, then speak out. Destroy it all. Kill her. I guess we'll cancel the wedding. Wedding? Well, yes. She's a happy bride now. But you intend to abandon her for the second time. As the saying goes, like a dog in a manger. How's Grandma doing? Well, she started sewing a wedding dress for me. Hi, Glenn. Hello. Why didn't you call? Everything okay? Yeah, I have to go now. All the best. Repeat. Everything in this world repeats. And I repeat. Maybe enough? Certainly enough. Yeah, enough for the sappy crap. It's not given to people like me. That's just it. You know, when I was just a child, I hid myself like the devil. I thought I would grow up, come to her as a cool man. I entered the police academy for her sake, to be a real hero. 
Pleb, please stop. You have become a real hero. And in my senior year, I became fearless. Decided to take a chance. I waited for her near the Institute. So there was a chance of meeting there, standing there, squeezing the ring in my hand, in my pocket until my fingers cramped. And she casually says to me, very calmly, I'm marrying Nikonov. She shines with happiness. So I shut up. Where, I think, should I grope that pig face when she is happy? But now she's happy again. And I guess I have to be happy for her. But I feel heavy hearted. Pleb, what about your own happiness? Do you really think that Sonia deserves you? Really? You run after your childhood dream, but happiness runs after you and can't catch you. Maybe just stop and look around. You have it all already. Love is right next to you. Someone who won't betray you or ask for anything. You should just reach out your hand. Flip. Can I open yet? No. Come on. Don't be afraid. A couple more steps. Stop. Open. Here it is. The construction of the century. Our family business. What do you think? It looks more like a century-old unfinished project. Try use your imagination. It's got great potential. Archim, according to the reports, the work should be finished by now. Why isn't anything happening? The construction's on hold for now. Archim, it seems to me that they framed you. There's corruption in your company. We'll figure it out. We can overcome anything. I promise you. Let me drive. My car? So what? If I crash it, I'll get you a new one. How about that? No. I like my car. Give me the keys. Hold on. License plate is fake. It's missing in the database. He was definitely here literally an hour ago. The rain washed away all traces. What kind of person is he? Why does he need the secrecy? The model and body number are not registered, neither with the police nor in the area. I am now convinced that this Jeep owner is not only Olya's lover, but also Lisa's father. And he's also the contact bastard in Olga's phone, and the prime suspect. Sonia. I need you to do one thing for me, and please take it seriously. You have to stop searching for Lisa's father. It's getting very dangerous. And please, let's agree if you notice something. If you see anything, you call me immediately. Yes? Yes. Let's go. Lisa's standing alone again, with her back to us. She's just waiting for her mom. What did you just say? Her mom's not coming. She is dead. And this fool, she won't accept that she is alone now. So what? Dare to answer? I'm not going to fight you. This is stupid. So are you. 
What is going on here? What are you doing over there? Hoodlum, go on, get out of here. I'll wait for your parents at the school tomorrow. Hooligans, are you hurt? Come on, get up. Ouch. I've worked at schools for many years, but I forget how cruel children can be. Moreover, they hurt somebody and don't even notice it. Have you been hurt by somebody too? Hey, it's not your business, you see? God help you if you tell someone. I'm sorry, I'm a bit late. No surprise. Well, we know sloppiness is in your genes. I've noticed that, if not to say unruliness. so sad. Did those mean girls bully you again? Uh, it's not important. So what is important? There is this one boy in school. His name is Nikita. I want to learn to draw as well as he draws. He can draw with crayons and watercolors. He's really talented. Hmm. Do you like this boy? Well, what's the difference? He doesn't notice me anyway because I'm dull and ugly. Lisa? You are the most beautiful and the most talented girl on earth, okay? <laughs> Ladies, good evening. Hello. Lizzie, dinner? I have a lot of homework. But it's Saturday tomorrow. For Monday. Well, Call me if you need any help, darling. Or me. After all, she has a father. And quite a smart one at that. And why are you sad? Worried about the construction? <sighs> yes, a bit. We're strong together. We'll move mountains. I am sure that as soon as we get married, we'll be on a roll. Archam, we also need to go through all the charts to see where the holes are. And to figure out what to do with it. Let's do that on Sunday. It's late now, and I have big plans for tomorrow. What plans, Archim? That's a secret. Sonia, get some rest. You look tired. Get a face mask or a massage. I need you to look perfect. Archim, why didn't you tell me that the construction contract was signed with the mayor's office? That the customer is the mayor, do you understand what that means? We can try talking to Jana's husband, the mayor, and ask if we can postpone and use this time to settle it all. Enough. But it's the only way for us. Go to sleep. Good morning. I'm sorry about last night. I was just worried. I wanted you to sleep well before the big day. What is the big day? Today is the big day. Our wedding. 
Well, not literally. General rehearsal. <clears throat> we prepared the surprise all together. And I made you a blush-colored dress, even better than the wedding one. It'll be like your real one. Restaurant and guests and vows of love. And fireworks, like in the theater, when they run the play before the premiere. Guests in a restaurant are probably very expensive. But it's worth it. You're worth it. I want the whole world to know about our love, but wanted to start with you. Dear friends, I may only know half of you here. <laughs> but I wanted to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. <laughs> That's right. I know you came to eat and drink, but unfortunately, you will have to wait. Now we begin the rehearsal of our future ceremony. And I hope you play your roles 100%. It must be perfect. Otherwise, we may not invite you to the real wedding. <laughs> Before we start, it's very important, dear friends. I really want to say thank you. An endless thank you to my bride. She has literally lifted me up from my deathbed. She supports me in my business adventures. She is truly my guiding star. Shine bright, my dear. And finally, my bride-to-be would like to say a few words. I think... I think everything is predetermined. And it would be silly to argue with fate. Let everything be as God intended it. Well, then I guess it's time to start. You are lucky because you met each other long ago and finally, after so many years, found your love for each other. From this moment, it all depends on you. Now that you are a family, a united power that must cope with any difficulties and pass through any adversities. Oh, and so the first adversities have begun. No, we just shortened the official part and immediately moved on to the dances. Now remember that you need to live for the happiness of a loved one. And it is very hard work. Archim Nikonov, do you agree to marry Sofia Gordiva and be together for better or for worse? Undoubtedly, yes. Sofia Gordiva, do you agree to marry Archim Nikonov? and live with him together in love and harmony through all the days given to you by fate. Didn't hear you. Yes. You may kiss. And now the fun begins. the amount first and only then go I don't front. even want to hear about it who do you think you are huh I went for a second to let some scumbag tell me what to do Max shut up it. keep yourself still give your woman a spur you failed to contain one old hag already don't screw up again now damn it Lisa's father is. It's just so horrible. I really don't know what to do now. I had to come and talk to you. I couldn't go back there. 
Why are you sure it's the mayor? Gleb, that is a very rare, nasty word. Old hag. Very few people use it, especially in conversation. I just can't believe it. Did Olya really meet with her uncle for eight years? They're not blood relatives. But he is double her age and John is husband. That's why they must have hid it so carefully. I've known him since childhood, and I really always thought he was a good person. I admit that Maxim is trying to be cute in his family. I know for sure that the mayor is corrupt and connected with bandits. He loves his power so much that he has lost all his principles. Pathetic, greedy. I've been trying for years to find evidence of his crimes, but my superiors stop every attempt. No one wants to give testimony. The whole city is afraid of him. I am not. I have to talk to him. Let me go and explain everything to him. Sonia, it's very dangerous. He can really hurt you. I expect a project from you in a week. Oh, and here's our beautiful bride. Mm -hmm. Maybe not as beautiful as her sister Olya, Lisa's mom. Who is she to you? A great niece? Or... Sorry. What's the matter with you, huh? You and Olya. You were lovers, right? Lisa is your daughter? Come on, honey. I've got a special greeting for you. Come with me. Listen, you. Day of all days, I need you to shut your mouth and never think about all this crap again. It's none of your business. If your filthy tongue continues to spew this bullshit, then I will personally tear it out. Understand me? Understand me, old hag? Sorry to interrupt. I couldn't wait to ask. Will you dance with me? I am not going to give up. I won't back down just because he's my uncle. Damn bastard. Screw you. And your broad. Wait, I... Sit down. This monster will defend himself, Sonia. Yes, we need to come up with something. We need to do a DNA test. He held a glass in his hand. Yes, exactly. A bent one with a sprig of currant. Did you see it anywhere? Don't touch it. Bring me a bottle of whiskey, will ya? There is the glass. Come on. Let's go. I'll go and look over there. Here it is. Got it. We'll put it here. Gleb. <laughs> Incredible. You're such a beauty, huh? You're going to get married and make out with your lover in the corner. I always knew you were as rotten as your sister. But have you thought what they will say about our family? Better you about your husband. Gleb, stop it. I'm sorry for you, Jana. Really. What do you mean? Come on. Alive? Listen. You and I are not strangers. Oh, really? You know I don't have children. And I always think... What will become of Liska? So now you first of all need to find a normal second mother, so she has a good example of a woman and not this. God knows what. Do you want a drink? No, I don't. Okay. It's better you hear this from me than anyone else. Your Sonia is messing around with the detective. 
I myself just saw the two of them in the kitchen. If you want, go and see. They're still there. Why do you nuzzle everywhere? It's not your business. What do you mean? You have someone to spy on, so go mess with his brain. And ask him meanwhile, why didn't he provide you with children and cheese slid off your cracker because of that? You got a smoke? It's been a shitty day and I'm tired. My dear, I am home. Hello, darling. What is this? Salad. Tuscan spring salad. Grilled vegetables and sesame. And why salad? That's what you asked for. Me? Yes, you said at the restaurant that you had overeaten, and you need something light. Yeah, light, not tasteless. Excuse me, please. Why? Am I getting fat? Starting to stutter and shake? Do you think I'm old and sick? No, no, you're in great physical shape. Please, just calm down, my dear. Then why the hell? Do I need a salad? I want something substantial. Not to chew grass. No, quickly. Put some human food on the table. Understand? Come on! You really shouldn't drink, you know. Why didn't you reply to my messages? I was worrying. Where have you been? Sorry, the phone was dead, and I had to talk to somebody. About the, uh, construction. With who, with Maxim, the mayor? Why do you think so? I thought you were going to convince him to move the deadlines of the delivery of the project. Uh, and how would I do that? Was I supposed to worry him at the celebration? It seems you and him... I did not communicate with him. What is unclear? <sighs> I don't need anybody's help. I will settle it all. And I'll do it alone. It's time to wake up. What's happening? We have big plans, so you have ten minutes to get ready. Where? To a very beautiful place called Faraway. There are wonderful landscapes and an art school where someone studies with a name, Nikita. How do you know that? I talked to his mother on the telephone and she told me that that is where he learned to draw. And by the way, he didn't do it well right away. But he worked very hard, and I'm sure you'll draw just as well as he does. I'm not going. They're going to find out that I can't draw at all. They will laugh at me. Well, the only thing they'll find out is that you're the bravest girl in the whole world, okay? Yes, yes. Let me help you. There he is, in the red vest. Mmm, he's nice. 
Hello there. Hi. We're drawing the rotunda. Where do you want to stand? Somewhere on the end, please. Lisa, hello. Come here. <laughs> Go on, sweetheart. Have fun. Did you hear? He knows my name. Yes. Come on. Quickly, quickly. You can pick up your daughter in two hours, not earlier. Okay? Good. Let me help you. Come on. Wow. What are you doing? I have a day off, so I decided to use the time wisely. Hmm. Have you caught anything yet? Honestly, I'm bad at fishing. It's just nice here. To restore my energy, the places here are wonderful. And this is just a cover, not to sit like an idiot. Yes, even the air here feels different. As if all the bad things are behind us and only peaceful and good things ahead. Yes, that's why I bought the land here. Well, also because it's the backwoods sold for pennies. So this is the site that you are going to build your home on? It's not far. However, it is overgrown, and since ancient time, there is some kind of wreck. Well, you have to show me your property right now. Well, yes, ma'am. I just need to put the gear in the car. Do you need help? No, I can do it. Beautiful. Yes, incredible nature. I mean the house. You're kidding. An ancient, completely useless ruin. There's so many holes outside and emptiness inside. Almost like me when I'm feeling blue. Gleb, come on. This is such a rare object. A log house made of ship pine. Built with just an axe without a single nail. There are no fasteners. This is an old Russian technique. I could stare at this for hours. You really know how to compliment. I'm just bursting with pride. It's like you walked over me. I need to take a picture from memory before demolition. Are you kidding? This is a crime. Guilty. But I have extenuating circumstances. I'm going to live here in extreme comfort. You will be comfortable. The house can be reconstructed. If you want, you can take it for yourself. I will be happy to live in a tent near the forest. Or over there, in the bathhouse. And what do you know about the foundation? Oh, there's a huge basement. You can organize a wine cellar for yourself. You have keys? Well, you know, I'm such a welcoming owner that I don't even lock the door. Actually, it's squinted. The door can't be closed anymore. <laughs> Careful. You know, probably not today. I'll be late to pick up Lisa. Yes, I'm in a hurry too. A colleague needs help with repairs. It's Nina. I'm just walking you out. No, thank you. Wait, we're heading the same path anyway. Annie promised to draw my portrait. By memory, just imagine. What if we grow up and get married? It could happen. You and Dad met at school, and you loved each other until death. Lisa, you will live a long life and be very happy, with or without a husband. But I want a white dress, like a princess, just like yours. You know, I have been thinking, I don't really want this whole princess wedding anymore petticoats and all these guests. At that rehearsal, I felt like an imposter. It looked like everyone was having fun, but they forgot to invite me. Maybe we'll just have a little tea party, just for our loved ones. Me, you, Grandma Lena, well, and Archim. Exactly. Also, you must not call Daddy. <laughs> 
What do you mean? Don't marry him. If you really do love him, then you wouldn't doubt it. Do you think that I don't want to marry Archim? Mm-hmm. But you're afraid to let those people down. I will not be angry with you. Just know that. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe I... Maybe I need more time to understand myself. Listen to your heart and trust yourself. <laughs> Lisa, where did you get so much adult wisdom? Mom always said that as well. What's this? The Arieris? Are you working as a folk artist? There's no time for this shit. You have something to do. Our company is participating in a tender for construction of a new neighborhood. We need a new project, not necessarily a realistic one. The point is to surprise the commission with an ultra-modern style. And how are you going to start a new project when you had such problems with the old project? We'll settle it when we win. Now, draw the pictures for me. I'm not going to take part in all of these lies. That's fraud. It's business, Sonia. New money to close old holes. Mm. Pyramid. Caring for the welfare of our family. Are we a family, Archim? Do we discuss everything together? Do we decide everything together? You know what? Can we skip the woman's heresy? If you want to brawl, let's do it tomorrow. Today, I just want to stay at home and relax. I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you. Well, bye. Quickly. Good morning, Gleb. Whoa, it's ready. That's fast. Is that so? No, no, I'm sorry. I just... I somehow hope that we were wrong after all. heard that. Repeat, please. Maxim is Lisa's father. He will deny his fatherhood, but we can do a second DNA test in the region, so he will not be able to affect the examination. How so, Sofiushka? How dare he? To hurt the niece? Why didn't Oya tell us? I don't know. Maybe she was afraid of him. Or she didn't want to mess with Jana for sure. She was ashamed of their romance. I can't even imagine how she was unhappy, our poor girl, because she messed with the uncle. What are you saying? What disgusting gossip is this? Are you going to stand there and cover up for your bastard? Whatever my husband is, he didn't give your damn wench a child! Grandma, shh. Don't you shh. even dare say that about And who Oya. the hell do you think you are to tell me? Who? A half-witted crone out of her mind, whose daughter ran away, whose two granddaughters are completely sick in the head. I won't let you break my life apart. Got it? I won't let you take away everything. You have I nothing have. except your fantasies. You imagine it all yourself, all your perfect life, but it's not real. You are too blind to see that your husband is a complete Shut bastard. Shut up! 
I hate you, okay? I really hate all of you. Yes, Cleb. I am with Grandma. No, nothing's happened. I can't lie to you anymore. Everything is just a nightmare. Jalena Kitchener, can I help you set the table? Is something wrong? Go away. Sorry? Get out of my house, scum! I hate you! I will never forgive you! <laughs> Gleb, I'm sorry I bothered you. Everything is okay now. I put grandmother to bed and I'm feeling a little calmer now. I'm not. Just the opposite. Sonia, it's just... I made a mess of things. But I can't help it. I simply can't. I can't lie to you anymore. Because there can't be any situation where lies do good. Yes, I realize that everyone has the right to know the truth. Even if it hurts. Archim, the truth is he didn't have any heart attacks. He lied so that he could be near you. He bribed a medic to impersonate a doctor. Well, I kind of understand why he did it. We sacrifice a lot for love. Except trust. I think so. Thank you very much. Thank you for telling the truth. My dear, I'm home. Thirty years. My God, for 30 damn years, I cooked a dinner for you every evening. Even when I was sick. Even when I knew you weren't coming. <laughs> that you are with your next lover until the morning. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it, our understanding. I... I thought that you were just relieving stress in this way. That it didn't mean anything to you. Mm, exactly. But Olya, she's your niece. How could you? I'm sorry you found out about this. However, she's dead. Problems being solved. But Lisa... Lisa is your daughter. I see her every damn day. How can I look into her eyes? Through your branded rose-colored glasses, dear. <laughs> this is the end. Also need to believe stress. Change the kitchen. Buy a new sofa. <laughs> you destroy everything around you. <laughs> mm, you're right, though. 
The interior's good. We won't spoil anything. But the stairs are just too steep. It'll be hard to get up those stairs when you're drunk. You could end up falling and break your neck. What? But a widower is not a bad status for a politician. More profitable than a family man. You have 10 minutes to get yourself in order and serve me dinner. <laughs> How is it possible to add a facade in your program? To embellish reality for the annual report? Everybody has the right to know the truth. Lisa is not your daughter. Her biological father is Maxim. <laughs> you fell for it again, right? Uh, tell me, could I be an actor? Yes, I knew from the very beginning that Max knocked up your sister. Do you think it's the first contract that I received? Just to make the lost puppy rich. What does that mean? Maxim decided to marry you and Olya? So that nobody would think he was guilty? No. She chose me to be her husband. She had the right to choose. Considering that he raped her, then beat her half to death, then forbade her from having an abortion. <laughs> so what? Do you think she's the only woman like that in Vyaz? Well, he pocketed half the city and then gave them money to shut up. You know, there were quite enough children born there. And all of them live with outsider men. His image comes first. That damn perfect family man. But why? Why did Olya date him for so many years? Would you try contradict him? She was terrified of him. Everyone is afraid of him. And he has a lot of money as well. Do you know how much money he gave her every month? Oh, by the way, we agreed not to spend it, so Lisa would have enough to live well. Who killed her? Maxim? You? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Me? No, I don't have enough passion, enough temperament. But... I had a chance to save her. She came to me, that night. She brought a bag with money. Oh, I laughed at her. It was a huge bag with a fortune inside. It was decorated with butterflies and flowers, like she was going to a tropical island. Damn fool. Did Olya want to buy you off? She didn't give a damn about me. She wanted to return the money to Max, so that he would let her go from Vyaz. I told her that it was impossible. All his women should be with him. She immediately began to yell and became hysterical. Then she took the bag and went somewhere. Sonia! Listen, since we have such intimacy between us, let's settle it like adults. 
Look, we have a business. We already have a child together. We don't need another one. We can feel comfortable and not have any worries. What do you say? Let's move on from the past and get married. No. I don't love you. And I never loved you. Thanks to my dear sister, she saved me from a terrible mistake twice. You're gonna regret that! Good morning, my beautiful niece. Let me give you a ride home. I'd prefer to walk. Our last conversation was not very... not very good. I got mad, I'm sorry. Let's try again. Let's discuss what to do with your girl. How much do you need? What do you mean? Well, money. Remember, I've already invested a large fortune in my sister. The price for raping her? To hell with it. Mutual consent. She sang in our corporate party and got pretty wasted. She followed me, got in the car, began to cry. So I calmed her. I mean, who wouldn't? You're her uncle, Jeanne's husband. Come on. Every marriage has its rules. Janka prefers not to know what I'm doing when I'm not at home. Well, in turn, I'm not curious either about how much money she spends on her tea clubs and other bullshit. She better bring me children, my god. Well, she can't. Why do you think so? I mean, well, maybe she can't already, but she didn't want to do it earlier either. Honey, let's live for ourselves. Better put your career first. You know yourself that later means never. Is that why you chose to have a dozen children on the side? You see, there's a little problem. Only girls were born. Maybe I used the wrong women. Will you do the production for me? It is very profitable. I'm getting old. I need an heir. I can see that you're not ready. I can't believe that Olya got into your black jeep every week for so many years. And you comforted her? Complete fool. I explained to you the sex just happened once. My plan is foolproof. She got knocked up, ended up married. I personally don't keep any of my contacts. My assistant sends the money. And I've never once owned a jeep. I prefer sedans. And by the way, you can ask your Temich about the jeep. He has it on his balance. Like some kind of... jeep dangling at his company. Money laundering. Was it you who killed her? When did she bring you the payoff money? Where? In Novgorod? In the sauna? We were well steamed with the regional officials after the forum, I remember. 100% alibi. To summarize, my greediness doesn't let me pay you to keep your mouth shut. But clearly you have principles, and you will be silent for free. What if I won't? 
Vieira's traffic situation is very shifty, you know? About 30 accidents per month. Women are often hit by cars, sometimes fatally. Near the school, accidents happen often, especially on that crosswalk. Now walk on home and think about everything carefully. Clip, I won't let you do this stupid thing. I am your friend. My friend, I've collected intelligence about this for three years, and each time I've been denied the initiation of a case due to absence of grounds. If our chiefs are so short-sighted, I think that our colleagues in the area have less vision problems. Yes, but you don't understand who you're going to cross that way. Clip, I love you. Please stop. Please. Nina. You are very important to me. We are great partners, but we are not a good match. It's impossible to force oneself in love. My love is big enough for both of us. It's not fair. You deserve a better husband. As for me, you'll be disappointed. Lisa going? Well, when we get to Novgorod, I'll rent an apartment and find a new job. Grandma, I'm begging you, come with us. Sonia, I'll just stay here. I'll just burden you. Grandma, you're not a burden. What are you saying? I spent all my life in Vaez. I want to die here. But you, Sonia, should leave. Run, take care of Lisa, and remember, I really loved you like a mother. Loved you, loved you more than myself. Dear my Mishenka, Please forgive me. I wasn't able to save your Olenka, and I wasn't able to protect your Sonia and Lisa. I am so sorry, my daughter, but I do love you so much that I never stop to think about you for even a second. It'll just make it worse. Flip, are you dismissed? Uh huh. And they pinned the abusive office on me. Remember the drug dealer's medic? He wrote a statement about me at the first go-ahead. Allegedly, I beat him in the interrogation. <laughs> Your chiefs are compromising you. So that the regional officer did not take the investigation against the mayor seriously. Yeah, you were right, Nina. He has his informants everywhere. And what will you do now? You are now the group lead. I will leave after you. No, Nina. It will be much better for all if you stay here. You're a great investigator. Then I will do everything in my power to get you back to your place. Uh, if necessary, dirty tricks. Nina, you are one of the most noble people that I know. You shouldn't go to the dark side, okay? My father served honestly all his life. Still, he could never buy an apartment. He died in a rented room. I promised him I'd live according to my conscience. But how can I when nobody plays according to the rules? And power and money decide everything. It is not the end. Have you seen my phone? Mm-mm. Okay.
Well, that's it. Goodbye, little sister. My beloved Sonia and Olya, sometimes fate separates the closest people. Please know, I think about you every day, my daughters. I remember how the three of us loved to fall asleep, embracing, and swore to each other that we would dream the same dreams. Now I rarely dream, and every night I desire to see you, my girls. And in my dream, we talk about everything in the world, laugh, and never part again. Your endless loving mom. The subscriber is unavailable. Leave your message after the tone. Hi, Gleb. I can't reach you. I just wanted to tell you that I'm picking up Lisa. I'm fetching her from school and we'll leave. For a long time. Forever. You're the only one I felt safe with, and you've become very close to me. I hope we'll meet again, and I'm going to miss you, Gleb. Well, I have to go. Senior Investigator Stravchuk, Sofia Viktorovna. We've opened a case of embezzlement for the company's city story during the execution of state order for the construction of a multi-story complex. Here is a search warrant for your house. You're a suspect in fraudulent activities constituting grand larceny. But we are aware that you are the CEO of the company. Nina, you... You know that... Th Sorry, the case is handed down. Legally, everything is logical. You maliciously became the CEO of the company, so Nikonov could escape responsibility and get out of debt. A conspiracy by an organized group, seven years in prison, Sofia. It's because I made the mayor mad, right? Snitch officers were assigned to me. They'll report every mistake I make. I have to do everything perfectly. Otherwise, I'll be thrown out the same way as Gleb. Unfortunately, I can't help you. Come on. Sofia Viktorovna, were you planning on going somewhere? And your accomplice Nikonov was... was going to leave with you. Who, Archim? Yeah. No, he's in his room. He left, bastard. Come on. Interesting. A similar bag with a large amount of money, according to witnesses. It was with Olga on the night of her murder. How did it get here? I don't know. Have you seen this phone? No. Well, calls to the same number. Seems there's a long chat here with the same number. Olga, answer me or you'll regret it. Such an old hag like you does not deserve good treatment. As you were an old hag, you'll die an old hag. The conduct bastard in Olga's phone is Nikonov. 
He threatened her, and probably killed her. But the word old hag. Yes, rare cursing, probably taken from somebody. We need to send out an APB on Nick enough to all traffic police posts. Can you do it? What's happening? I'm scared. You can wait outside. Just don't leave the police station, okay? Come on. Sonia, hi. I've lost my phone and bought a new one. Turns out your number is the only one I remember. Gleb, they are searching our house. Archim escaped. Nina says that... He killed Olya. And I'm going to jail. It was clearly explained to me that she must be arrested under pretext, and if I don't do it, then someone else will. Yeah, Maxim has gone completely off the rails. Yes, and the new evidence against Nikonov aggravates everything. Listen, if they want to judge her under the article of fraud, then complicity in murder can also be implicated. What? We must arrest Gordiva immediately. This cannot be. Listen, if she tries to escape, we'll only make her situation worse. And if you decide to help her, you'll be an accomplice. You'll both be put on the wanted list. Not at once. Within one day. Okay, I'll drag out this process. So you have two days. Thanks, Nina. Mm. Kazatkin. Yeah. How are things with you? Let's go, now. Well, wait, I need to pack something. I don't have any things, only this. Well, you're just like a little kid. They told you it's urgent. Lisa, this is my favorite fortress. Sorry for the inconvenience. No one will know about this place. We're safe here for sure. Does the prince have a plan on how to save the princess? Well, so far, a couple of drafts. But I believe that in life, like a fairy tale, good will always defeat evil. Mm hmm. Okay, let's go inside. Great, I fixed the latch. Perfect. Come on. I must go now, for an hour maximum. Please do not turn on your phones. Don't go out anywhere. Don't open the doors for anyone. Nobody except you. Exactly. It's just like in the movie about superheroes. Can I assign you a superhero mission? Mm hmm. Hmm? Look here. These boards are very rotten. If you step on them, then you can fall into the basement. Your mission will be to make sure your aunt always steps over this gap. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's a deal. Come back soon, Gleb, please. I'll try. Like that. How can you think about that now? Nikita taught me that you shouldn't be nervous if you can't change anything. And if you can, it's also silly to be nervous. You know, Lisa, right now I'm not nervous at all. I'm actually really calm. It's like the three of us are going on a hike. Yes, it's a real adventure, but, um... What's wrong? On Sunday, I have my art school classes. And we all have to prepare drawings. Well, it's not far off. We'll do something.
There's a car. It's Gleb. That is all. The beds are almost ready. She finally fell asleep. So many stories. Hold on. Thank you. Lisa's wonderful. She loves you very much. I love her very much. More than anything in the world. Well, if someone loved me that much when I was a child, perhaps everything would be different now. Please don't think that I'm complaining. I've just never really seen how to love. I didn't grow up around normal relations. I had no idea how a man should take care of a woman. What it means to be truly close to people. Is that why you were such a loner at school? We thought you were just stuck up. What are you saying? I was so shy, I thought my heart would jump out of my chest. I didn't know how to approach, how to speak. I thought no one would be friends with me because I was without family. A small poor orphan. I'm sorry I didn't realize that at the time. I didn't know how hard it was for you. Do you forgive me for not having the, the courage to vow to you that I, I was completely in love with you? I only studied to get excellent marks, to not be ashamed in front of you. Thanks to you, I didn't become a hooligan. Oh, I'll never believe that you could have become a hooligan. You've always been different, always smarter than us all. Oh, do you remember meeting in Novgorod when we were students? <laughs> the ground disappeared beneath my feet and you were so elegant. If you hadn't held out your hand to me, I might have lost my head. And I came specially that time. I wanted to tell you so much. Why didn't you say that? Scared? Sorry. Are you okay? Yes, it's hot by the fire. Wait! Gleb! Whatever you wanted to tell me, tell me now. I love you, and I will always love you. Good morning. Good morning, Gleb. Your aperitif. Yours? Take it. And this is for you. Divine nectar. Please come to the table. Today in our menu, potatoes baked on the fire, cupcakes and oranges, and a fruit salad. Huh? Incredible.
eyes. Yes. What do you mean disappeared? They can't get far. Find them. If you hear anything about your niece and her girl, let me know right away. Returning control of the aircraft to you, Commander. Thank you. Hooray! <laughs> Cleb, I know we can't use our mobile phones, but I'm worried about Grandma. When I left, she was very weak, and what if she gets even worse? I bought another phone yesterday. Do you remember Grandma's number by heart? Hello, Granny, it's me, Sonia. Who came? And what did he say? And you? Grandma, please hold on. We will solve everything soon. Maxim came and interrogated Grandma. He's trying to find out where we are. Her blood pressure jumped up and she felt sick. The ambulance came. They wanted to take her to the hospital, but she refused. Do you have to see her? Forgive me, my girl. I didn't save your Olya. I couldn't protect Sonia and Lisa. You wrote these? And presents, did you send them? Is that why Mom always knew exactly what we wanted? You can't even imagine how hard it was for me to lie. But why? You couldn't admit that your daughter is a monster? Don't talk about your mother like that. Masha found out about her diagnosis the day before her 30th birthday. No chance for her to heal. She loved you so desperately that she didn't even cry. What if you saw her tears and got upset? We talked all night, and I'm sure many more nights. 
Masha assured me that her angels were Sonia and Olya. She said that they shouldn't hear her screaming in pain. They shouldn't see her in her coffin. It's better to let them think she left. Let them be angry, but believe she's alive. And I'm weak, and I was weaker than my daughter, and I cried. I hung on to her, and I begged her to stay. And then I accepted her choice, because she accepted her cruel fate. She, she went to Novgorod to the hospital, and I, I had to stay to play my role. 24, she wrote. 24 letters she wrote, as many as she could. Then yes, I wrote these letters every day. You waited for them. I, I read them every evening and promised you that your mom would come back. And then I, I imagined how I would put myself into a noose and cut off all this horror quickly, but I survived thanks to you. You saved me. Granny, my beloved, my dear. You did everything right. You are the best, my dearest. You are both mom and grandma. I love you so much. Oh, Aktubinsk. Kovrov. Piez. Jana Nikitchna, what a meeting. I was just walking here, and then I saw you, swimming like a swan. Yes, I'm swimming somehow. But you and Sonia are drowning already. You think I don't know the police are looking? For you both? Looking at how you're clowning around here, I think you're going to be here for a while. And if I keep silent, I will have problems. Girl, run to the car, okay? Get yourself in order. Go, Liz. I've always wanted a daughter, too. So gentle and beautiful like Lisa. But Maxim was so paranoid. Why do we need children? We will lose our freedom. The enemies will get us. What do I care? I had to think about myself. And now what? Why live? Just emptiness. Enough. How did they find us? I called them. We can trust Nina. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Come on. Hello. Hello, Nina. I'll bring you guys a small generator tomorrow, so you'll have electricity. In the meantime, you can pedal. Well, that's it. So what? D 
Do you like it? Thank you, Nina. Well, give me the bags. Mm -hmm. We'll sort out the food while you pump up the wheels. Mm -hmm. Well, Liz, let us pump the wheels. Nina, I understand what a difficult situation you are in right now. And the risks you're taking. If you're thinking I'm going to desperately try and take your man away from you, you are wrong. He only needs you. Pleb is my best friend. I respect his choice. Moreover, for me it's much more valuable than any snotty romance. Hey, do you have a best friend? My sister. Oh, well, no. What about me? Let's try. I didn't tell Sonia, but Maxim will find you very soon here. So we need to think what to do next. Relax. I have someone on the inside. I'm getting dirt on the mayor tomorrow. They can't brush that away anyhow. Congrats. I've communicated with the regional investigator. I'll run to them when I get the documents. Mm. But an APB is out for your car and your photos are in all the bases. Listen, let me meet this man and deliver all of that. Mm? Waiting for somebody? No, just walking around. Flip sent me. Why didn't he come himself? He promised to come in person. Have you brought all of it? I stole the code to his safe. Copied everything I needed. Here it is. Here are the details of his secret accounts. A list of offices, like Nikonov's, for laundering the state budget as well as tax evasion schemes, and much more. Is he going to jail soon? Mm. It's a matter of days. He's going to kill me in these few days if he finds out. I promise. He won't kill you. Have you thought about how we will live when all this is over? We will live as we want to. I don't even know. I've always done what needed to be done, not what I wanted to do. What did you dream about then? Some dogs. We will buy two. Yes. And they will live with us in a huge house for the largest family where we can all live together and my grandma, children, grandchildren and always have guests in the house and the children are laughing. <laughs> yes, a complete mess. I love that kind of mess. Compromising evidence. This is the worst evidence I've seen collected to date. Who collected this shit? Sofia Gordiva. Probably cracked your safe. Wanted to send it to the regional investigator. Her dull investigator boyfriend inside of this. Well, he's not hopeless, Maxim Ginnadich. To hell with him. You'll have to deal with both of them. Just please don't be as clumsy as last time. It should be more elegant. Trivial, an accident, so that no one has any suspicions. And what about the girl? Well, we're not monsters, my god. 
You'll put her in a children's home. Or not. It's better that Archim takes her away. So that I don't have to see him anymore. He messed up here, he has. You pinned the murder on him just in time, if I'm being completely honest. So now we just we just let him go somewhere. And we let him decide what to do with her. Why should I be the one having to think for those jerks anyway? I've got enough of my own problems anyway. That's it. Come on. Listen, the investigative committee are freaking out. They're planning a special operation. <laughs> Tomorrow, our mayor and his arrest will be shown on all the TV channels. Incredible. As for me, I didn't believe it. Hi, guys. Hello. Sonia, join us. I've got the best wine in all of Vias. Oh, yes, thank you. But you guys start without me. I need to take Lisa to drawing classes now. Oh. So you're completely crazy, right? You can't go out anywhere for another day. Do you want to put the whole operation at risk? That's why I left my car behind the forest. Okay. Let me take her. Come on. In the meantime, start tasting. Thank you, Nina. Mm-hmm. There's a shorter way here. By car is faster. Is this your car, Nina? Ours, ours. No, I'll better walk. Well, save me all ah, those words. I don't wanna, no, let me go, no, let me go. Sit still, let I said. Daddy? Please let me out of here. Sorry, Lisa, I can't. Sit. It looks like there will be a thunderstorm tonight. Yes, it's very stuffy. I feel dizzy. What is wrong, Sonia? Uh. Sonia? Sonia? Uh. Are you tired? Weakness is falling for a complete fool. But what you feel now isn't weakness. This is the effect of the strongest sedative. It causes paralysis. Your tongue will be numb for 30 minutes, but in your case, forever. The wine. Thanks to our friend from the hospital. He provided me with drugs, taught me how to stick a syringe into a cork. And only for one early parole. If I knew earlier, your sister would have suffered less. Oh. What? What? What is it, best friend? I'm smart, right? Murder. So why is it all about me? Pull yourself together. You need to say goodbye to your Romeo. You should play the touching finale of your melodrama. Hmm. Well done. So pathetic, you make me cry. But no, I won't cry. Do you want to know why? Because it's all your fault, idiot. When you chose this fool between you and me, you insulted me so much. I was just freaking out all over. Let it burn. Let it all burn in flames. I don't know, as far away as possible. Why? We'll plan a big magic adventure, and we'll choose new names. We can go anywhere, do whatever we like, and live a great life. I don't want to live with you. You're too small to decide. I will decide. I'm your father. No, you're not. What are you on about? Mom told me a long time ago that you're not my dad, and if I look at my blood, then I don't have a dad at all. 
I promised Mom to keep this secret because she believed that you could still be a good dad, to love others more than yourself. That's what she said. Lisa, give him a chance. Stop, please. I need the bathroom. We can't stop on the road. I need to pee right now. Okay, we'll stop somewhere. Watch it. No tricks, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Yes, I promise. Calm down, calm down. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Calm down. Don't be afraid. So, mister. Have it your way, baby. Just don't cry, okay? Who are you to this child? I want to confess to kidnapping the child. But that's not the most interesting part. Damn. The fire went out. <laughs> Just like your passion. Do you have matches? What? Why are you staring at me, hmm? Don't you like me? <sighs> Be patient. It'll end soon. There. Voice recorder. What? Over there. Here. In that bucket. Well, people can't question your nobility. Though it's more like craziness. Ah! Freeze, freeze, don't move! They asked to bring the protocol of detention to the head of the department. I'm not used to the new position yet. I was appointed only yesterday. Congrats. The whole town has already heard about this case. See you. Tell me he's going to jail for a long time. Ten years, no less. It would be nice to give him ten years for every woman whose life he destroyed. Listen. Tell me the truth. So did he really push Olga? Himself? No. He had a devoted servant. Look here. I, Nina Igarevna Starchek, confess to the murder of Olga Gordiva. But more reasonably, her own stupidity killed her. She happily lived off the mayor's subsidies, and I personally brought her a tidy sum of money. Her fictitious husband Nikonov did not approach her. She confessed herself that they did not have sex, and she was tormented by her conscience. At night, on the 3rd, Gordiva came to Nikonov. But Nikonov drank too much that evening and decided to restore the status quo. I do not know all the details, but he raped Gordiva. She got mad and showed up at the police station. I was on duty that day. I tried to explain to her that writing an application for her ex-husband is stupid. Then I put her into the car, convincing her that we were going to settle everything. Yes. We stopped at the bridge. I said the car broke down. And pushed Gardiva down. All her belongings were left in the car.
And when my partner, Kudryavsev, refused to recognize Gordiva's death as suicide, I gave money and Maxim's phone to Nikonov. I had to blanch over the mayor. He communicated with Olga from an additional number. Their communications could have been opened through a mobile operator. Nikonov was the perfect scapegoat. Excuse me, I need to go. Shana Nikichna. If it will be hard here for you alone, you can move in with us. Living in a village will be good for you. My bride will not object. Dunya, here, here. Well done, well done. Dunya, Dunya. Dunya, fetch. The bird was very smart, and she understood how unhappy the princess was. By Granny, I'm so happy you're here with me. My angel. When the prince oh, come on, let me carry window, it. I've got he it. Saw the princess there. He kissed her and Here you are, them. some lemonade. When she saw the Thank prince, you. she was delighted. They got married and lived happily ever after. Please help yourself. Oh, thank you, young lady. Dunya, Dunya. Well, how are you doing? Holding up? Gleb, just look. Look what's going on around us. It's a complete mess. 